Liz here with another craft. So today we're going to be making um, flower sack towels. Well, we're decorating them. So you can get this at Walmart and you get uh, two of the towels like this. Actually, they come like this. And I think they're about five dollars, something like that. So we are going to add ribbon and then we're going to stencil so i've already done some i have these on my stove i'm sorry hanging on the uh oven handle so i did these and we're going to use this stencil and this stencil and these are available at lizyonke.magnoliadesignco.com and here's another one that i did coffee before talking and then coffee is my love language. And again, uh, the towels are from Walmart. You get two in a package, and I think they're about $5. So you're going to need um, high temperature glue gun and then the um, fabric glue sticks. Now those, uh, I've only seen them at Walmart, and I have a package of 18 here. It, I'm sorry, did I say Walmart? Hobby Lobby for a $3.99. There's 18 in there, and you can use your 40% off the coupon. And then the ribbon we're going to use is a pinkish, pinky peach color. Hi, Angie. And uh, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And then the ink, the ink I'm using is a gray ink, and it's from a maker studio, but there are inks at uh, Magnolia Design. They didn't have a gray, but they have a silver, and then there's other colors. They, they have a brown and a pumpkin color. And you do want to use the inks. Uh, if you use the chalks, when you wash it, it'll just come off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay this plastic down on our table because this will bleed through your towel. So we're going to do both ends, and then I'm just going to find where the middle is, and usually that's easy to find because um, the way they were folded. And since we're putting this on um, fabric, we don't need to fuzz it, and I've already used them several times anyway. You know what, we should probably put our ribbon on first, I'm sorry, I'm getting out of order here, disorganized. So anyway, we have our hot glue gun and a ribbon, and what we want to do is on the um, hem of the bottom of the, the uh, towel, we're going to put this right above the hem. So we're going to overlap it a little, have some overhang here so we can tuck it in and uh, glue it underneath. Now, with this glue, you can wash it in a wash machine. Um, you want to use cold water. You cannot put it in a dryer. So you'll want to hang it up and let it air dry. So all we're doing is just gluing it down. And of course, if you don't want yours to be used and you just want it for decoration, you can tell everybody, don't use my pretty towels, and then uh, you'll never have to wash them anyway. David's kind of scared to use mine. I didn't tell him I'd do anything to him if he did. I even encouraged him to use it, but he didn't want to. So I'm just doing uh, one string of glue, and like I said, this is the fabric glue from Hobby Lobby. And I think I forgot my scissors. And it's just basically like the other glue. Uh, 
you know you don't want to do the whole thing all at once because it'll dry quickly okay so we're at the end here and let me get my scissors and I'm just going to leave a little bit on the end so I can tuck it around to the other side okay so this is what we have isn't that pretty I like this ribbon from the Dollar Tree so I'm just going to put it all the way on this back piece of ribbon and I'm going to push it down just like that okay so we got one side with the ribbon on and now we're going to do the other side I mean, you could do just one side if you wanted to. I like to kind of switch them up at times. So, I'm going to start at this end this time. So, like I said, I'm just leaving a little bit here so I can turn it over. It just makes it look a little better in the front. Now you don't have to use this pink. I use the brown uh, on the other. They have some pretty um, uh, turquoise looking ribbon like this and I mean you don't have to use this particular ribbon I just liked it because it had the gold on it but uh, you know any ribbon really that you like it could even be thicker or thinner than this I mean you just need to make it your own and uh, if you go to Magnolia Designs and look at the um, stencils they have some out there uh, these coffee ones are available. There's four in a pack, four different ones. And then they have these other ones for the kitchen, too, that would look really nice on the tea towels. So I'm just putting, getting out a little warm, and hopefully it'll stick to my other, other glue stick so it won't fall out. Yeah, I do, too, Angie. I like it on both sides. And I'm going to stencil on both sides, too. That way, if I get tired of looking at one side, I can switch it around to the other side. Okay, so we got that done. I'm just going to cut the end here. And I'm going to flip this around and tuck my ends in. And I'm putting glue on the whole piece that's out. So it'll stay there real good. And you can always make uh, two of these towels. I have the two made and I put both of them together on my um, oven door. Okay, so we got our ribbon on both sides. And we don't need the glue gun anymore, so I'm going to take that out. Hopefully I didn't unplug the wrong, right, wrong thing. I'm not sure did. Okay, put that down, and now we're going to work on our stencils. So, like I said, you want to do it, I mean, you could put it wherever you want. I just like to, when I fold the towels, you know, I fold it so this is in the center, and it hangs like that, or like that. So here's my center. I'm going to do this one first. Coffee. Yay, gotta have my coffee. Got mine right here. I know you have yours, Angie. Okay, and like I said, you don't need to fuzz this because it's going on material. And you want to use ink, and we will uh, set this with our iron, and then we can wash it. But because of the glue stick that we used, you do not want to put it in a dryer. You want to uh, let it air dry. 
And like I said, the ink I have is uh, a Maker Studio, but they do have a silver ink at Magnolia Design. So I just have a little bit on here, and I'm just putting it on my stencil. Real easy to use. I mean, I really like these stencils. I, I tried other stencils back in the day, and man, I just really couldn't do much with them. But these stencils are easy to work with. They're adhesive. They're, uh, that's kind of messed up there. They're uh, uh, mesh stencils. They're not like those uh, blue ones or the clear ones like you can get at Hobby Lobby and stuff. And I see I'm getting something here on my stencil. So it's something I've done, not the stencil itself. I don't know if I could fix that or not. Might be something on the back. Well, no, it turned out good. And then you want to, I should have shown you. So you want to put this in, wash it right away because the inks are a little hard to get out. Uh, the chalk paste uh, comes out a whole lot easier. So I like to use it on everything else. So here's what we have. So we need to let that dry and then we'll heat set it. So we're going to do the other side. And hopefully I won't mess this up. I'm trying to get it so I don't mess it up. Come on now. Okay. And then our center. Let me just see. It is about right there. The other stencil I have is But First Coffee. And I'm just going to put it right here. And again, I'm going to use the gray. I like gray and pink together. Okay. Where did I put my... You know, last time I did this, I was doing... Um, Oh, there it is. I was doing some stain and I got stain on my towel. I'm like, really? I haven't even used it yet and I messed it up. But I'm using it anyway. Okay, so we'll put another blob of ink on there. And these stencils are reusable. I mean, I've used this several times. I've um, put it on wood pieces and metal pieces. And I've done the towels. I mean, as long as you clean them up as soon as you're done. And uh, the way you do that is you just take them to your sink. And you use your sprayer on them. And then you just take your finger or a sponge. And... Um, Make um, Magnolia Design has a sponge that you can buy that'll help you take the inks and the paste off. So when you put it on your product, you want to uh, smooth it out so you don't have any wrinkles or bubbles. So this is what we have, and I'm just going to take this off. Yep. And I'm going to put this face down in my water. And then when you're finished washing your uh, stencils, you want to um, dry them with the sticky side up. If you do it with the sticky side down, it um, can stick to whatever you've laid it on and then you won't be able to uh, get it off. So I'm just going to dry it with my heat gun a little bit, and then we will heat set it with our iron. And I already have it ready. So 
we did it. Heat guns are great. I'm gonna turn it to the lower temp. You know, you could do your colors in whatever colors your kitchen is. I like the brown ones for myself, the brown and the oranges. I just thought this was a, a good color combination. Oh, no, I got it on my finger. Normally, after I do this, I would just let it sit and dry for, I don't know, maybe half an hour or an hour. And then I would heat set it with my iron. Okay, this one here is dry, so we'll go ahead and set it. So I have um, my iron set on linen. Uh, this is 100% cotton. So you want it uh, a little bit higher than the setting of your uh, material. So I'm just going to put this down instead of using the ironing board. And then I'm going to put just this thin piece of material over top of it. And then like I said, I have my iron set on linen for this. And then I'm just going to go over it. Now, actually, I haven't washed anything yet that I've heat set, um, so I really don't know how well it does. I've heard other people say it does really well, but um, one day I'll be putting it in the wash machine, and we'll see how it goes. And um, don't forget, if you make anything uh, from the videos that I've done, go ahead and go to the Liz's craft page and post your picture there and put a, put a little thing in there about what you used and how you did it. Because, uh, you know, we all have different ideas of how we're going to do something and it's nice to see what other people do with the craft that you put out there. And I know you're crafty, Angie. I know you'll come up with something good. I love all your stuff. And you can paint too. I can't, yeah, you know, I can't really do that. So there we have it. Hopefully that's heat set. And then let's see this other part. Well, it seems like it's dry, so we'll do that, that side too. And also, um, you could do this with napkins. I have this uh, stencil that says calories, um, something about sneaking into your closet and shrinking your clothes every night. Um, I put those on mugs, and but that would be good for tea towels or napkins. I guess more so for napkins, since you're eating when you have a napkin. And which I did buy some napkins. Uh, Cotton napkins, there were 10 of them in a package for $9.99 at uh, Tuesday morning. And if you don't know, Tuesday morning is in Temple, and they move. They're no longer beside Big Lots. They're over there in the HEB area. So I had gone to the dentist the other day, and I wanted to go to Tuesday morning, but I heard they're going to be closing them down. I don't know. So I'm just going over it, make sure I'm getting the whole design. Since it's small, usually my iron will go over most of it all at once. So I would love to see your all's creations. Okay, I think that'll do it. Here we go. We 
have but first coffee and then our little heartbeat with coffee because where would we be without our coffee I have to have my coffee in the morning so I'll post a picture of this on the Liz's craft page and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow I really didn't mean to put 1230 on uh, the time for today actually I think I meant to put 1130 forgetting that it was Saturday and I was gonna do noon so hopefully I'll get it right for tomorrow uh, we'll be doing the craft at noon not 1230 not 1130 so I'll see you back then oh I did want to show you something so those napkins I got at um, Tuesday morning I decoupage one on this well yeah one on this vase it only took one and I had to put it together here in the back and then I just uh, had this rope here from the Dollar Tree and I took it apart and only used one of the strands and put it around here and then I glued beads to it so I left when I started I left a piece of the rope hanging this way and then when I ended a piece of the rope this way and then I just tied it in a knot and then I glued the beads on it and I put one down here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try it on my own first I think I'm gonna decoupage this and I don't know how it's gonna turn out because it has all these lumps and bumps on it and then I thought I might put it on the top of a flower pot and maybe put a light or something in it I'm not really sure but I have uh, a bigger one of these that has the lines going down and then I have these other ones that were uh, in my bathroom before they did a renovation and it's it's pretty big it's, it's like from here up to here and they're pointy like in a cone shape almost like a pine cone and it has more designs like this in it so if it works out uh, I'm hoping to do several of those and then I'll put it in a grouping but um, I'll have to see how this goes. I'm going to try to work on it today, and if it goes well, then we'll do a craft with that. So I uh, hope to see you guys later and uh, tomorrow at noon. See you then. Bye.